Hello and welcome everybody to part two of game one of MVP versus MMA from the G4 StarCraft II Pro-Am tournament. When I last left off, we had one big push from MVP that was actually uh, fairly successful at containing MMA for a little while, was able to get MMA off the gold base as MMA had just tried to start mining on that gold base, um, but eventually ended up having to pull back uh, for fear of getting just caught out on the other side of the map, pulled back to that Zelnaga Watchtower, at which point MMA actually surprised MVP and caught all his units off guard and uh, took a pretty strong lead in the ground control. Now we see from MMA, we see a very, very heavy Hellion and mech style play with siege tanks and Hellions uh, while he tries to maintain a lot of air control with these Vikings, a Raven and a single Banshee here. Always love that single Banshee in that TBT matchup. It's something that we do not see enough. Um, we see a surprising amount from the Korean players. The Korean players always just love to have that one Banshee out to add to their mech style of play. Just because if they can hold that air, uh, if they can hold that air control, that one Banshee is able to deal a lot of damage to Siege Tanks and Hellions and things. And that one Banshee can actually end up picking up quite a few kills if you are not careful. And uh, if you don't mean that, and, uh, as long as you maintain that air control. But it looks like MMA is finally deciding to get a little bit aggressive here as he is trying to poke in with this Banshee a little bit, trying to deal as much early damage as he can to these Siege Tanks. But uh, he's slowly leapfrogging his Siege Tanks in and very soon he's going to start being able to do a lot of damage because he does have the air control at this position right now. And yes, the Siege Tanks are now firing upon MVP Siege Tanks and his Siege Tanks are going to be forced to pull back in the meantime. This Banshee is just going to be sitting here doing a lot of damage, but all the Vikings of MVP come in, pick off that Banshee, the Banshee goes down. Do we have another Banshee on the way here from MMA? If we check out the Units tab right now, we can see that no, there is not actually another Banshee out right now, and he is not producing anymore. He's continuing to produce just Siege Tanks and Vikings in his base. He's currently running off of three factories and one Starport. His Barracks is currently out here floating around looking for his opponent's units right now, and it looks like we're going to see an expansion here from MVP. MVP trying uh, to maintain a little bit of air control. has been producing a lot of Vikings. If we check out the Viking count right now, we can see that, uh, whoa, we actually have a big engagement here going down. A lot of Marauders now moving in for MVP, dealing a lot of damage to these forces, catching them a little bit off guard. Marauders coming in from the back, actually dealing a lot of damage to these Siege Tanks now. Moving in, all the Siege Tanks are falling for MMA, and it looks like this is going to be a nice push here from MVP. MVP still maintaining air control, now landing his Vikings, cleaning up the rest of the Siege Tanks. Holy cow, that was a lot of forces lost there for MMA. Holy cow, where were all his Vikings at the time? It looks like his he did lose that Viking battle. As we can see on the uh, units tab, we can see that he only currently has one Viking on the map, two MVPs, nine Vikings, and MVP looking like he's in a very good uh, place right now. 94 food to 57. MMA just now taking a third of his own, both players uh, mining, but MVP is of course mining on that gold base. This is gonna give him a huge boost in the economy. He's gonna be able to do very well here. Great tech switch here from MVP. Absolutely love this tech switch. Saw that MMA was very, very stubborn to be holding that air control and going for that heavy mech play. And so uh, MVP said, you know what? You know what beats the heck out of mech? Marauders. Marauders do great. So he just went heavy Marauders and Vikings and was able to clean up pretty much direct counter the forces of MMA. Excellent tech switch there from MVP. Uh, MVP, as we can see, MVP now dominant with the air control, just flying his Vikings, just completely carelessly, without a care in the world, just flying his Vikings around the base of MMA, and because MMA went for this primarily uh, mech force, doesn't have any Thors on the map, um, just producing Hellions and Siege Tanks, MVP is doing exactly what he wants now, planting his Vikings right over that starport, picking off units just as they come out, and there isn't a whole lot MMA can do about it at the moment until he gets up some Thors, uh, or just gets up some turrets there. So it looks like uh, finally MVP is going to finally get a chance to be aggressive here. He is now moving in with a dropship full of Marauders, and they are going to be dropping those units to take out the production, uh, the production structures of MMA, and the tech lab, and the reactor falls, and it looks like he might actually lose this factory. The siege tank won't even get completed, and it's not going to get canceled. That siege tank does not manage to be produced. The factory goes down. First Thor is now out on the field, though forcing those Vikings away, but it looks like these uh, Marauders are now just being dropped down onto the low ground, getting a lot of kills down here, utilizing the fact that with these uh, Medivacs and Marauders, MVP 
has mobility. He has a mobile advantage over MMA. MMA is going for these much slower mech units. He does have Hellions, which are faster units, but they die so fast to the Marauders, they're not able, even if they can zip down there, uh, to try to defend and attack those Marauders, just deal so much damage uh, to those to those Hellions. Uh, and yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what else to say about those. Those Marauders are just darn good against mech. And it looks like MVP is now looking like he's in a very, very good position. He's got a lot of medevacs out here with a lot of energy. And he's going to be able to pick off all the force of MMA. MMA not sieging up and all the Marauders stimming and moving and taking out all those siege tanks. The siege tanks instantly fall. And the GG from MMA. That means that MVP is taking game one of the GSPA uh, series. And we are going to be going into game two right now, ladies and gentlemen. Do not go anywhere.